isa sa secret um, joy and fulfillment ng isang pari is we play yung pari-pari and ako yung natukahan na maging pari. So, parang yun ang nangyari para mga little seeds of indication o bukasyon. Do you want to know the Oblates? Discover our life and mission. Join us! I'm fondly called uh, Speeding. My full name is Federico Labaglay e Pedregosa. Anak ni Jesus Labaglay at ni Francisca Pedregosa. Ang tatay ko from Lambunao, tapos ang nanay from Palanggia Pututan, Iloilo. Uh, ako ipinanganak noong July 20, 1949. Uh, walo kami magkakapatid, anim na babae, saka isang kapatid na lalaki. Yung mga bata pa kami, ang aming tatay ay namatay. I was only three years old. And so, halos lahat kami mga bata. So, yung aming nanay ang nagsilbing uh, tatay at nanay para sa amin. Yan, noong bata pa ako, preschool, hindi ko naisip na maging pare. Kasi I was dreaming to become a teacher or a doctor. Pero because of circumstances na hindi na sustain yon, hindi na nurture, and therefore wala. And financially, we are unable to support that dream. My mother used to bring me with her or take with her sa church, sa mga big activities ng simbahan. Tulad ng Christmas, uh, New Year, at saka yung Holy Week. And then, what attracted me doon uh, was the Knights of the Altar with their white and red casa. And I told my mother, someday I'll be like them. I would like to be like them. Tapos, uh, nabanggit niya rin, wala din sa aking kamalayan na pag may group of children in our yard, in our grounds, or in the home, we play yung pari-pari and ako yung natukahan na maging pari. So, parang yun ang nangyari para mga little seeds of indication o bukasyon. Tapos grade 5 ako, I became a knight of the altar. And sa mga barrio masses na kasama ko or subasama ako sa oblate priest. And so, uh, well, there was a time na nagtanong sa akin ang pari na yung nakasama-sama ko. Oh, gusto mo ba magpari? So during that time, wala, wala pa akong niisip but except yung dream ko to become a teacher or a doctor. Because I was thinking ng aking pamilya. So, uh, wala yon. But uh, in high school, I became a convento boy. And I was in charge of uh, the, the house chores. Tapos yung simbahan eventually. And I became the sacristan mayor. And I prepared the liturgy also. Uh, so, minsan, ako yung naka-assign or ina-assign ng Paris priest na maging prayer leader and song leader. And minsan, dahil sa uh, kapos sa uh, dialect, ilonggo dialect ang aming pastor, so he asked me to read the homily 
So that experience also uh, influenced me in my decision after graduation. I say I took the workshop and then I took the test and I passed them all. And so I entered the seminary and in the seminary I was doing well, kahit na may erap yung studies, but I was doing well and every year nakakapasa. And straight 10 years I completed the course and I was ordained May 29, 1976. Ako yung unang pare sa Mlang, Tabato. Then afterwards, kapansin ko parami mga sumunod. OMI, kasi I have a very good experience with the different oblates and yung closeness to the people ay talaga feel na feel and yung appreciation nila also of the people, empowerment and involvement. Authentic uh, service na mga oblates with the people, with the parishioners. It was not easy actually. Nung fourth year na ako, natapos ko na lahat yung aking studies. I was uh, really struggle whether I pursue it or not. Kasi ang feeling ko sa aking sarili, yung lack of confidence and lack of knowledge. Basta maraming inadequacies. So nag ako for five days. We found a text that gave me some hope as a energy I was energized by Matthew 28 verses 26 to onwards um, I am with you even up to the end of the world so go so I made a decision to say yes finally Yung pinaka-unique experience na talagang may impact, yung pagbubuo na basic ecclesial communities sa Magpet, GKK, and dahil din sa GKK na yon Gagmay Kristo ang Katilingban, ang mga tao ay namulat, and they have the courage to speak up the truth. So, because of that, pinag-iinitan sila kasama na ako ng authorities sa kasagsagan kasi na martial law ito. Eh, so, maraming na, na arrest, maraming bising at yung iba ay napasla dahil sa kanilang pagpapahayag na mabuting balita. But, uh, the other Good effect of basic ecclesial communities is the transformation of the church from the ch perfect society to a community of disciples of Jesus. Kasi sa BEC, you empower the people, you recognize the gifts, and then they become instrument and agents of change for a renewed church. So, in fact, yung BEC experience at Bagong Magpet, Bagong Barrio, and Grace Park uh, was recognized by different institutions outside and they come to the Paris for exposure. Isa matingkad na joy yung you empower a person from being quiet and just being in the corner to become active lay leader. 
For example, yung isang worship uh, leader sa barrio ng EBB was uh, in charge of a worship committee and then sabi niya, Father, di ko alam ko ano, liturgy. Ang alam ko lang is letter G. So, but eventually, ay natuto siya. So, ang paggawa na ng liturgia ay nasa tips of her finger. Hanggang ngayon. So, isa sa secret uh, joy and fulfillment ng isang pare is yung patulungan mo yung tao na matuto. Pugat Baboy, ang bagong barrio, has been transformed to a new sense of being church. During the time na Paris Priest ako doon, yeah, it used to be called Pig Pen or Pugat Baboy, a notorious place. Maraming nag-hold up, maraming drug addicts, maraming killing. So, ina-implement nila but because of the people's resistance. Kasi pag na-take over na ng National Housing Authority, mawala na sila ng place o ng lugar for their own housing and home. Naging animator, facilitator sa mga moves na dapat gawin. Like for example, Regular man kami makipag-usap sa mayor ng Kalawukan City. So bago yung date na yan, napuntahan yung mayor, uh, meron kaming pag-uusap, pagpupulong kung ano ang mga ibibring out doon. So yung ako kasama ko ang aking pastoral workers ay siya naglilid kung ano pag-usapan. At ang mga spokesperson doon na sa akto ay not necessarily kami, kundi yung na-train namin mga lay leaders. People are empowered hindi lang uh, sa kanilang paninindigan, kundi they are economically empowered kasi ang kanilang mga anak ay nakapag-aral at nagkaroon ng trabaho and therefore it gives them a lot of uh, opportunity now compared to before. Dati uh, ano talaga slum dwellers sila scavengers. Now they are people living with pride and dignity. Grace Park also I can I cannot forget. It's one of the highlights of my experience of a uh, rural uh, no, urban, urban setting. Yung Bago Barrio is rural, rural and urban. Grace Park, urban setting. And able to grasp and to accept, to embrace BEC as a means or a way to a new way of being church. Sa OMI, we dare the undared. Ang advice ko sa mga young people is to be open to the spirit and to listen to the voice feelings of the spirit in the hearts. And kung talagang para sa iyo ang uh, pagiging pare o brother as missionary oblate, there are factors and circumstances that he, that God will provide for the enhancement of the call or 
the call to priesthood or brotherhood. So open their sub heart, open to the working steerings of the Spirit. Last May 29, I am, oh, I was 46 years in the priesthood. 46. All through the years, as I was relating, no um, uh, seminary struggle, I went through difficulties of studies and so on and so forth, but everything turned out well. So God was working. I saw God's finger in the experience of long years, even in my life as a missionary. Kasi mayroon din threat sa aking buhay. Oh, especially sa kasagsagan ng martial law, because, because I joined yung mga activist group. So, napagkamalan ng mga komunista. So, the priest, they nila masyado maaresto or uh, ma lapatan ng anumang uh, punishment kasi people protects the priest, the people. Pero yung mga, some of our lay leaders were missing. And then, yung pagka-missionary ko sa Tawi-Tawi, yung yung nagtaob ang bangka na aming sinag. O motor boat. But uh, again, I saw God's finger there kasi ano nga siya? Walang nalunod sa amin. In 46 years, I have no regrets. My life uh, is a thanksgiving now. Kaya, I believe na ito nga ang buhay na inilaan sa akin ng Diyos. And therefore, I thank the God or the Lord for all His blessings and goodness to me. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God I say.